It's been two weeks since our reality was flipped upside down, asshole facing the sky, when the deity of destructive slapping was defeated in a fair and square slapping competition. Vasily Komatsky, the god hand, the god of slapping, the boogeyman of hands, you know him by many names and we all fear him the same, was defeated two weeks ago in a short clip that went viral on the internet. I made a video talking about it at the time, and I was really hoping the full video would come out pretty soon after that, but it still hasn't come out yet. I was able to find a longer version, but it still doesn't have the full context. It doesn't even have the name of the man who slayed the god, who went up to Mount Olympus, charged it, and took down fucking the Stonehenge, the mountain of masculinity that is Vasily Komatsky. So I'm going to show you the longer clip, but I'm going to show you what they posted a couple days ago. They did post a slapping tournament two days ago on, of course, the main channel, the hub of all slapping, which I highly recommend everyone check out. But anyway, here's the longer version. I have no idea what he said, but I imagine it translates to, ouch, that fucking hurt. This was shocking to me because I had no idea Papa was also attending this same tournament here. They brought out the superstars and matched them with some other interdimensional champions or something. Fucking Dragon Ball Z Tournament of Power style. Yeah, I had no idea he was here and he also got his shit fucking pushed in. And then the guy like ran away because he didn't want Papa to get upset and eat him, which I totally understand. But yeah, I can't believe in the same tournament both Papa and Vasily, the two titans of terrible titty trembling, the two behemoths, got annihilated. This is the clip that everyone's seen, the clip I made a video on, where Vasily Komatsky gets his fucking Christmas stolen by this unnamed Grinch. And it's a great slap, incredible work here, but I want to know more about it. I want to see the context, I want to see the whole build-up and everything, but... There's no full video for this yet. This, what I just showed you, is the longest version that exists currently with Papa there. Also, just as uh, some fun trivia here, this slap actually sent Vasily Komatsky to the hospital where he fell into a small coma as a result of the impact. And then he got up and complimented the man on his steel palm, his fucking plutonium palm. And that slap really was like a fucking explosion across Vasily Komatsky's face. It's like his hand... It was like Baki the Grappler, how the dude, old dude had like a grenade in his hand and blew it up on the guy's face. That's exactly what this man did to Vasily Komatsky's cheek. His fucking hand was dipped in gunpowder and it exploded on Vasily's skull. It was an incredible slap and Vasily, you know, paid compliments to it, which I very much respect out of an athlete. But it sucks because we still don't have the full video to see all of it and learn more about it. But the hub of slapping, the main central for all slapping needs, did post a video with Vasily, and Kom Vasily Komatsky and Papa in it, our favorite characters. And I'm going to show you some of that, but it is not this tournament. <laughs> These are two new athletes that we haven't seen before competing, but I want to say... I would never fuck with a man that looks like this guy right here. He looks like Butterbean. If you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man that looks like this, your best bet is just to treat it like it's a bear and just lay down and hope that it loses interest. I would straight let this dude put his cock on my shoulder if it meant appeasing him and I don't get slapped by him. I really find guys that look like this to be extremely intimidating. I noticed in the few English comments on this video that most people thought that this guy was the underdog, the guy that looks like Kingpin, but I knew right away that that man was going to lay some straight ass across his opponent's face. So this result here was not surprising. <laughs> I actually found this matchup to be the most surprising of the entire tournament. This is a very clear mismatch, at least to the untrained eye. The man on the left is significantly shorter, and he looks like a, your standard 9-to-5 working man. The guy on the right is much taller, and he looks like he passes his downtime by eating rocks and toppling governments. We've seen him multiple times before, but they never gave him a nickname or anything, so I'm just going to call him Sledge from now on. No, man. He goes the full distance and they end up splitting the money. It was a draw. And I couldn't believe that because we've never seen someone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sledge 
that not only goes the distance, but actually makes him flinch. And every other time he gets slapped, it's like slapping a brick wall. It's like slapping the fucking Cybertruck, but without the glass breaking. It's never done any damage to Sledge until this guy goes up against him. So it was an incredible fight that I truly didn't expect to happen. Ой, нос сломал. Не, не, нос сломал. Нос сломал. Да. Нос прям вышел, ушел он у него. Врачи, подойдите, пожалуйста, срочно. Не, не, нормально, ну что? This was the bloodiest match we've ever seen in the slapping tournaments. We, in fact, across all of slapping athletics for as far back as the videos go, we've never even seen blood drawn at one of these events. And this man splits his whole fucking nose wide open. His nose is spitting blood out like it's taking a piss out of his face. It was a big slap and his entire face is red. I half expected his eye to pop out of his socket. It was nuts. And this guy takes it like a champ. They shake hands. All's good. And you can see on the other guy's face, he feels really bad about unleashing 90% of his power. And goddamn, that was devastating. Yeah, so Vasily Kamansky comes out here suit and tie looking like the CEO of slapping, and he's slapping the hosts, which I think is very wholesome and very enjoyable stuff, but it's not like an actual tournament form, it's not competitive, it's just, I'm gonna slap the fuck out of these guys, and he takes it easy on the main guy, the guy who's, you know, actually like the head honcho here, he very clearly held back some power on it, but Edward, the guy with the snake tattoo, he unleashes the full cannon on him, and he does it three times, which, yeah, I think that's Edward Shtick. I believe he's just supposed to be the one that, you know, the, the one that they all make fun of, all in good-hearted fun, and then the one that gets the shit slapped out of him the most, because that's just part of his character, I guess. It's cute and all, but it's not actually Vasily Kamatsky competing, and it's not the tournament that everyone wants to see. Everyone wants to see what happened at, with the Vasily Kamatsky tournament in that fucking warehouse in the middle of nowhere it, you know we want to see how he got slapped as hard as he did and who it was that did it so i'm still eagerly awaiting that full video to come out hopefully i don't just like bury it i don't think they would but i could also see like hey these are our star players we don't want to make them look vulnerable you know what i mean i could totally see that but i hope that won't be the case because i think everyone out there really wants to see that full video but anyway yeah that's about it for now see ya